What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Southern Family Living. Um, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Join the family, it is free. Um, we are doing a 500 subscriber giveaway very soon. We're about 50 subscribers away. So I'll be giving away some of these awesome rigs uh, that Frisky Fins have, that Frisky Fins makes. Um, got the green, orange, pink, and orange. See down here. So yeah, I'll be giving those away and I also have some other baits that I'll be giving away that I've collected for about a year now that I don't ever use. So you don't wanna miss that. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure you comment down below. Let me know where you guys are from. Let me know how you're being affected right now due to the virus that is spreading. And uh, you know, obviously we know the beaches are closed. So I'm gonna be making some of these videos uh, as of right now, there's a couple piers open, but you know, I'm kind of playing it safe for a little while, but I've decided to put together a video today about what I usually bring to the beach when I go fishing or even the piers. Anytime I go fishing, this is what I bring a small bag with just what I need because I don't want to be carrying a whole bunch of crazy stuff. I do have a surf cart that I will be getting the next couple of weeks uh, or I was, but we'll have to push that back until after all this craziness passes. But until then, it's really handy. And I'm gonna tell you why I use these, uh, the bag that I have and all the materials that's in the bag. So I just have a clear bag. You can see everything that's in there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, show you what's in there. I have a small little tackle box. And what I have in there is kind of wet because I cleaned it all out the other day. Always clean, especially if you're a saltwater fisherman, always clean your gear because it rusts. But I have a couple uh, pill bottles that are empty to label off and I keep different size hooks in these. Uh, so I have all my hooks. I have like four or five of these containers. Cause you're, you know, the stuff that you need when you go fishing, you know, and I usually fish the same type of rigs or kind of the same uh, stuff over and over again. Got a couple sinkers, pyramid sinkers. Uh, when I'm fishing by the jetties, I like to use these. So they don't get tangled. This is a two ounce. I got a couple three, four ounce sinkers. So I have that push this to the side. Before I get into the next thing, the reason why I use a clear bag is a lot of times I'll go fishing with my buddy Brian or any, you know, Tyler or my wife. And if I get hooked up and I'm by the jetties or if I'm on the beach and I, I prefer to have the fish grips for pictures or um, it's clear. So a lot of times I learned from the past, they're digging around the boot bag and I need it now. So if they can see it, they can easily grab it and go. So that's something to think about too. A lot of people don't like the clear boot bags because they don't like people seeing what's in their bag, but I really don't care. Uh, it help, it's way more helpful. I don't have to keep digging around. I know exactly where it is because I can see it, grab it and go. So next thing I have is my fish grips. Make sure you clean these off. So you've seen these in a lot of my videos. Um, Anytime I catch black drum or getting pictures or just easier to kind of handle when I get a weight or a measurement. So I definitely use these all the time. And I need to restock on these, but obviously I have my fish bites, uh, shrimp flavored white. And then I have uh, the crab white. And I think I have a couple more, actually I just ran out. I got a little bit of fish gum left. I need to get out there. I was actually gonna do a video on that, but all this craziness happened. Um, obviously I have my, let me wipe this off. Blade knife, boom. Uh, for cut bait, anything like that, right there. Make sure you clean that real good because it will rust. So I have that, I've got my pliers. You can put them on your pants, whatnot. So got those. These are, the, I don't like the strips. Uh, so I probably won't be buying any more of these strips, but I have the Sanfli shrimp uh, fish bites, orange and white. 
So if you see that, these are they don't they don't last long at all. Okay, got my scale. What I like to do is usually put this through this ring on my fish grips to get a weight. So got the scale. Got my scissors. I'll be doing a video on this while I have these. I mean, it comes in handy uh, for certain things I take off the hook or you'll see that video coming very soon. I have a pair of scissors and my braided line scissors uh, cuts way easier. Um, so I got a pair of these. Oh, we got another sinker I found here. So I need to put that back. And then uh, Rippin' Reaper Fishing, Tony, uh, he sent me one of these um, pyramid sinkers, pink and white. Super cool. I mean, awesome stuff. So I got that. Then I'm not gonna take all this out, but I have all my Pompano rigs and my lights, gloves, and Germex in this little area, as well as my fishing license. And uh, yeah, that's about it. A pen and paper uh, in case I want to keep notes, or a lot of times I'll, you know, if it's a big fish, I'm kind of keeping up my big, my personal best. I'll put that in there. So yeah, that's what I usually bring. Super easy, quick. You know, you don't have to bring your whole house with you when you go fishing. Just what you usually use. Um, so this is what I do. It works best for me. So yeah, make sure you guys check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Comment down below what you want to see. And remember, join the family. Stay safe during this time, and I'll see you on the next one. Keep it Southern.